You're a good soldier, Martin. Decorated. Remember that. And I was another person. What do you mean? I can barely lift a cigarette. The way it's killing me. We can all reach a point where it gets to be too much. Sure got to be too much for Tall and Hinton. Couldn't do a thing to help them. Weren't you pinned down? Shouldn't have been. Stupid. I know how difficult it must be to watch your friends die. You don't know. Makes you feel like you don't belong nowhere no more. Where do you want to belong? I'm sorry, ma'am. Could you leave me alone for a while? Of course, Martin. I'm here if you need to talk. Talking just pulls me back into that stuff. I feel like I'm caught in a twister and I can't get out. How's Martin today? Ready to go back to duty? He's about to have a rest, Doctor. You get it together, soldier. Your unit needs you. He's having a really tough go. Don't give him too much time to think about it. Getting him back to his unit's the best cure. Statistics prove that. He's not ready yet. He might never be. He's been severely traumatized. Don't be negative, Dr. Seymour. It's worse to treat these men like helpless children. I understand the theory, but we have to assess each case on its merits. We spend too much time looking at things on an individual basis. Let's get with the program, Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> 